looked big from c comparing to last year where we had this roller thing it definitely looked bigger with, with a gap in between and uh, actually the smaller kicker um, it seemed sketchier kind of but uh, I felt good when the first time we hit it Yeah, luckily I got to come to Rising High last year and hit the setup, which was the very first time we got to do anything like this with a mega ramp landing. And we actually have the same setup at Roenix Lake in Florida. So we've, we've uh, the Roenix guys have gotten to be real familiar with the same setup. And it's surprisingly almost exactly like it is how we have at the lake. Setup time, gap, speed, everything feels uh, pretty similar. So we're psyched to get out here and get after it. It was pretty crazy to see the f setup for the first time because it's like something different than just seeing the normal kicker and compared to last year it's so much bigger and so much more air time so it was impressive. Um, yeah we had this setup uh, two events last year we had it at uh, the first ever rising high in Hamburg and uh, at Wake Open and I mean, this one's way different. Having that elevator pull to get you more hang time and more up pop is just so much more better. And uh, I think last year at Rising High, you know, we had a, a bigger kicker and the same landing ramp, but it was more of a rollover step up. So I think this year more things are going to be possible and we've got some more height. So this year's going to be real badass. I was the first person that got here and um, the first person who saw the setup and at the beginning I was really scared and almost shit myself when I saw it but after a few hits it felt very good and comfortable. Um, <clears throat> yeah not gonna lie I was a little nervous but the, pool, the pool's a little short so um, I mean you kind of need to take a pretty hard edge at it so there's not a lot of setup time but after like three or four hits it's it's pretty straightforward. Um, it's fun. I definitely um, was nervous though. You know, like you, I was definitely like, all right, like G, you definitely the first hit, like you definitely G yourself up. You know, there's like a gap between that kicker, and if you don't make that, it's it's bad news. But um, you'd have to really like mess up your edge coming into it to not make the gap I feel so um, I was pretty confident and you know it's pretty fun. Oh uh, yeah we go a lot faster than we normally do so that's always a factor in it and then hitting it normal is pretty good last year it was only hitting it right before and then this year we got both options to hit it right and left and I haven't hit it left yet I've just been cruising it right so yeah, I'm a bit scared to hit it left right now, but hopefully by the end of the week I'll get it going. Oh yeah, so the past four days we've got to do practice on this thing. Usually when you come to a, a setup like this or, or not like this or any contest, they don't give you that much practice. So for us to have four days of practice to get used to this huge mega ramp setup, uh, it's sick. And it's been kind of cloudy, windy and rainy, but now the sun's out, it's Sunday, people are rolling in. Uh, Rising High is about to go down, it's gonna be good. Yo, I came out the wounds. 
screaming but not snitching I'm in the years old with a gangster intuition Little did I know about the family tradition Unaware of my heritage and inherited position My father was an outlaw, a hustler, a fugitive And no matter how intuitive I was at the time I was nine, not even a dime I didn't understand the consequence of crime My mama told me 40 times not to hang with naughty kind But I slang 40 dimes, now they call me Shorty Shine My old man never taught me nothing as a kid I learned from the streets that it is what it is I never got a chance to show ya Never got a chance to mow ya Never got a chance to hold ya Put your head on my shoulder It is what I'm it is I'm truly sorry son that I did what I did Stay strong baby boy It is what it when is When I was a teen I was a fiend for hip hop and cream Two dollar J seller, this jock supreme The dean of clean with a jerry curl sheen My mean lean ruptured the scene like a spleen Did this that the other everything in between Blue bomb green got a scene with prom queens Fell in love with the game Got it how I could get it a roguish romantic, every fetish, yo, I fed it Ignore the prophetic, poetic justice that I dreaded Young and hard-headed with degenerate genetics Dude was locked up and never there for his kid Never had the chance to warn me that it is what it is Come on. I never got a chance to show ya chance. Never got a chance to mosh ya Never got a chance to hold ya Put your head on my shoulder It is what I'm it truly is. sorry, son, that I did what I did Stay strong, baby boy, yo, it is what it is Yo, I'm grown now up in a whole nother zone now Strapped with some stamps, envelopes, and a phone pal All that rebelling made a two-time felon I guess I should've listened to the things he wasn't telling My auntie made a point, said I look like you Now I'm all up in the joint, looking just like you Nobody to blame but myself for getting deep in it Made my own better nails, now I gotta sleep in it Moms raised me right, tried to lead me to the light But I still develop features like the creature of the night Pops long gone, now was kids doing bids Ain't no pity party, oh it is what it is I never got a chance to show ya Never got a chance to mold ya Never got a chance to hold ya Put your head on my shoulder It is what it I'm is I'm truly sorry son that I did what I did If I could I would have told you that it is what it is Oh it was so different to last year's like Having the stair set in the rails has just been so different, so fun. As well as having the kickers on a higher level, it's just making everything so much easier. And just everyone's landing so much more stuff than last year. And everyone's, yeah, it's just a good time all around. Yeah, I think here in the next year or two, we're gonna see these landing ramps popping up all all over the all over the world at all different cable parks. I think it's I think it's definitely the future of wakeboarding. You're gonna be see a lot different, more high level snowboard type tricks and that you could never do before landing on the flat water. It's gonna be sick. I wasn't keen on hitting normal kickers anymore, anyways. But after this weekend, I'm like why should I do this at all because I know it can be done so much better and yeah I just want to hit landing ramps <laughs> um, I think that landing ramps 
definitely going to play a big part from here on out. This setup looks really good for the crowd. To ride, it's awesome. Um, I don't think it's it's just going to be like another genre, you know. Like there's like winching, there's cable, there's boat, and then now there's like big air. Um, so, and I'm pretty excited about it, um, just because I'm pushing 30 now and you know the knees aren't liking those flat landings as much and i feel like i could hit some hit kickers like this and get comfortable on something like this like well into my 30s because the impact on your knees is like nothing so it's it's pretty exciting it's pretty cool you know like and it opens up the doors for like you know the sport to have like some of the older guys you know being able to lengthen their careers I think uh, one thing that's really cool about this event if you, is uh, Parks Boniface riding in it. Parks hasn't been in an event in probably like 10 years, you know, so he's pumped up about it and, you know, he's like put his knees through the ringer, as we all know, um, and he's confident to get out there and, and hit it just because, you know, a down ramp makes sense. And so the future of the sport, I am definitely hope this continues and, um, I think I think it's going to be good. You know, I think I think landing ramps are going to have a big role in the in the future of wakeboarding. I think you could do the same thing on a larger scale to go even bigger, faster, higher, and you can even do it on a smaller scale. I think it's going to be great when cable courses have a little bit smaller landing ramp and these kids can start hitting kickers and landing on this thing because it really does make the landings that much softer. And there's been too many good wakeboarders, too many good knees have been taken out from guys forcing to land. On, on flat water all these years. So to have this kind of soft landing and to go that big on a wakeboard, it's really refreshing. I've been looking for this thing set up for about 10 years now. So finally we have it and uh, hopefully we get to keep it.